Fafa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path Path of the Network Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. It is day 70, episode 70. That's right, 7-0, the big 7-0. It's another milestone episode. So what I want to do for today is do another recap, right? The last recap we did was at episode 50, which, I mean, that was already 20 days ago, right? It feels like it was just yesterday, but it was already 20 days ago. So I want to share with you guys the, some, of, some of the stuff that I've learned, some perspective shifts that have happened since then. Um, the first one is that it goes by quickly, right? Like, again, 50 felt like it was just yesterday, but it was already 20 days ago. Um, So it goes by much faster than you'll think. Uh, On the onset of this 100-day journey, it was hard really to envision being at 100 days. Um, Well, it's like like that that, that old saying, right? Like a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And that first step is important. That's the metaphorical commitment to the journey. Um, However, when you take that first step and then you look straight ahead of you, there's still a thousand miles to go. So it it seems very, very daunting. And the same thing for this for this uh, crazy, crazy experiment that I'm doing. Um, You know, when I when I first started, I was like, man, 100 days is crazy. Now that I'm at 70, it's like, it went it went with a blink of an eye right um it went by very very quickly and so like the lesson is that yes it goes by quickly and and what happens is um your journey will will be in phases right it will be in phases when you take that first step of a thousand miles yes it's daunting but as you start walking as you start finding your pace as you start you know you know really developing a cadence the miles will just start to disappear behind you and what's happening is it's developing a habit right same thing with your with your online journey. If you commit to posting every day for 100 days, um, that initial push is going to be very difficult and a lot of your energy and effort is going to be spent on just making sure you post some content every day. Now, once it develops into a habit, it becomes easier, right? It becomes that energy and effort isn't expended on just making sure you fo- you, you, you post because it'll ha- it will have become a habit, right? It'll have become second nature. Um, generally speaking, it takes anywhere, it takes roughly 40, five days to develop any new habits. So, you know, if, if you're committing to using the internet and, and creating content for your network marketing business, be willing to at least be in it for 45 days, right? 45 days, again, is is, is how long it takes um, for you to develop a habit. And once you get over that threshold, all that difficulty in those first couple of weeks that, that you were experiencing and posting every day, um, it, it'll have melted away, right? And it'll become more second nature, right? So again, that first phase, that first 45 days, that's developing the habit of just posting and, and, and publishing content every day. After that phase, it becomes more, more natural, it becomes more habitual, and you're not expending as much energy on posting um, uh, every day, right? Because, uh, because it's already a habit. So now that you have extra energy and, and, and effort and focus, um, now you can put that extra energy, uh, uh, focus, and effort into developing your voice, right? Developing your voice in your content, developing your ideas, your message, and, and your character, right? Like that, 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 that attractive character that Russell, Russell Brunson always talks about. Um, um, you can really start to develop your voice. And for me, um, it was, uh, you know, anywhere for like, I think around 50, um, when I really started to get into a groove and, and, and really getting the cadence and, and the voice of this sh- particular show. Um, you know, I created a, a, some music for it, created a new uh, podcast art for it. And I really, again, I really started to get into a groove and found the voice of this particular show. So anywhere from, from 45 to 65, I would say, is, is when you can start doing this. And, and I feel like I'm there. Like I'm at 70, so I feel like I, I, I'm actually hit that point where, I mean, of course, it's, it's going to continue to evolve and, and the voice of, of, of this particular show will continue to change as time goes on. However, I, I feel like we're in a good place with that, that I'm not putting as much focus focus into finding my voice as I, as I was in, in that period of time, in that second phase of my evolution. Um, now that I'm there, the next stage is, is now that I'm, I'm starting to promote it more, right? I'm, I'm taking the content, I'm taking the show, sharing it and promoting it on, on my socials, right? Whether it's Twitter or I'm cutting up the video um, into small bite-sized pieces, 30, 40 second pieces to share on my reels for Instagram and TikTok. So that way I'm starting to get the word out more for the show. I didn't do this at the beginning as much, 
I wasn't promoting as heavily. Um, well, because I knew that it, the content wasn't necessarily going to be, um, you know, top notch. Right. So, um, so I waited, I held off on that. Um, you know, I wanted to put the work into developing the habit, put the work into finding the voice. And now that I, that I've, I've gotten through mostly gotten through those first two phases, I can really, um, focus on promoting the show and getting the word out moving forward for the next 30 days to, you know, to the, to the finish line of a hundred goal, a uh, hundred day goal. Um, the question then becomes now that I'm really, you know, uh, figuring, figuring this, this part of the equation out of with online marketing and, and content creation, how does network marketing fit into all of this, right? How does my network marketing business fit, fit, fit into all of this? And is it actually sustainable? Um, you know, one of the, one of the biggest concerns I think, um, with getting sucked into online marketing is that, is that going to detract and take attention away from your network marketing business? And therefore, is it a sustainable thing to do? Um, I don't think so much that, that, that should be the question, right? Like whether or not it's sustainable, I don't think is, is the right direction to go. Um, because I don't think you have a choice, right? With, with, with the way things are going, if you're not marketing online, if you're not creating content for your network marketing business, um, yeah, you're deluding yourself into thinking you can, you can actually participate in, in the economy or in, in business in the 21st century, right? Especially in the next, the next five to 10 years and the decades moving forward, you have to have an online presence. So it's not a question of whether or not no, it, like this is sustainable for network marketing. I think it's a question of whether or not we can figure it out, right? Whether or not you, you can, you can, figure out the last piece of the puzzle in how you can make your network marketing um, business fit into this online equation. And so that for me is going to be the work for the next 30 days, right? Like we have 30 days um, to a hundred. Um, and so I've made it my goal uh, to, to figure out the, the last piece of the equation, to figure out that last piece of the framework so that I can share that with you by a hundred. I know it's a lofty goal, but I, you know, like I'm committed to that because I want to give you guys, um, um, well, yeah, exactly what I had set out to do, right? I like I, the, this entire hundred day journey was so that I could learn how to use online marketing, how to use social media marketing, creating content, how I could use all of this to to build my network marketing business. And so, if I don't have that answer for you, then 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 I'm not fulfilling my promise. I'm not fulfilling my commitment to you. So the next thirty days is going to be a crazy ride. Make sure that you're following the show so that you don't miss a single thing. Remember, a new episode every day. We've got thirty more until we hit a hundred. So um, yeah, well. Well, stay tuned. A fresh new episode coming for you tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.